So people keep commenting below the videos, Ryan, some of the pros aren't hitting the birthday hat, right? Is that okay? And of course it's okay. They're pros, they're not going into the waiter's tray. I wanna clarify something here. The birthday hat is for people who go into a waiter's tray serve. No different than a cast is for a broken arm. If your arm's broken, you gotta get it set, you gotta get it fixed, and you gotta wear a cast. It's no different. If you're going into a waiter's tray, then you have to wear a birthday hat as a way to learn how to move the racket in over the head, like Osaka, like Roger Federer. You watch Kirio, Sam Groth, the fastest server of all time. He perfectly knocks the birthday hat off every single time. So here's the idea. If you go into the waiter's tray, serve, then hit some serves with the birthday hat on. You can notice I just hit that off, right? I went from front to back, knocking the birthday hat off. Now, let's take Shapovalov, for instance. Now, he's left-handed, but I'm gonna demonstrate it right-handed. When he swings, he makes this move, and his arm is so flexible, a lot more flexible than I am, but he lays the racket wide open, goes nowhere near a birthday hat. And is that okay? Of course, my favorite player of all time. Uh, Pete Sampras does not knock off the birthday hat. And people are saying, but they're doing it incorrectly, Ryan. What do you have to say about it? My, my, my answer is they're pro tennis players. They come around on edge. Even you look at Chapo, his racket's wide open at this point, comes around on edge. Sampras, my favorite player, wide open, comes around on edge. Now, Federer's interesting because he knocks the party hat off, but he doesn't even teach what I necessarily recommend, which is keep the strings down. He knocks the party hat off, which is good, it's fine, and then he lays the racket open. But guess what? He comes around, his racket's actually slightly closed at this point. So you don't need to put a cast on an arm that isn't broken, right? You don't have to wear a birthday hat if you're Ash Barty because her service motion, though it doesn't hit the birthday hat, it comes around perfectly on edge. So go out and practice, film yourself hitting serves. If your racket comes around like this and you go up and you pronate as you hit, then awesome, good for you, even if you're not hitting the birthday hat. But if when you serve you look like this and your racket goes across your feet, you lay the racket open and you smack into the back, it would absolutely help you to learn how to move the racket in over your head, knocking off the birthday hat. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to compete against, practice with, or even find a coach who's close to you so you can work on your birthday hat serve, or not your birthday hat serve, but you come around on edge, then use my link in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis, and you can get a 50% off discount when you join. Please film yourself. You should be constantly filming yourself, right? We, we look in the mirror before we leave the house in the morning. We know what we look like. We might as well, if we're gonna spend all this time, energy, and money learning how to play tennis, we better know what we're actually doing. If you come in over your head and knock off the birthday hat and you come around on edge, awesome. If you don't knock off the birthday hat and you come around on edge, awesome, because that on edge is gonna force you to pronate. If you're not hitting the birthday hat and you're going into the waiter's tray, then learn the birthday hat serve. And there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.